Welcome to the Cunningham Piano Show, where we explore life between the keys. I'm your host, Hugh Sung, and I'm so thrilled to have as my guest in this episode, Drew Nugent. Drew, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Hugh. So, I, I have to confess, the first time I heard you play was on a YouTube video that uh, Rich Galassini, one of the co-owners of uh, Cunningham Piano, played for me. And it was a video of you performing well, so. yeah, <laughs> performing on the piano, singing, and playing a tea kettle. <laughs> it's like, how do you play a tea kettle? And you definitely showed how to do this. But what was so interesting is that you were playing music from the past. I mean, really the past, but with such flair and style and absolute joy. Drew, Give us, a, give us a whirlwind tour of your background. What made you fall in love with, well, first of all, tell me about the music that you love most. Well, this is what they call, uh, I mean, nowadays it's referred to as hot jazz. Back then, most of the guys playing it just referred to it as music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, sweet yeah, or yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I got into, uh, initially, ragtime, okay. which spawned this style of piano playing that they call stride. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you know, was learning the Scott Joplin songbook amongst other ragtime creators and writers and performers. And slowly I found myself moving with the evolution of early American popular and also underground music, mm. such as jazz. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so tell me a little bit about the, the love that uh, surrounded your music. You, I know your family had a lot of influence in terms of your tastes that coincided with this style of music. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is true. My <laughs> mom and dad raised me on a very eclectic spread of music, which I believe to this day is the reason why I just went poof. Yeah. And I just disappeared into another century. <laughs> and it wasn't a bad thing. I mean, I loved my two favorite artists at uh, three years old were David Bowie and the Four Tops. So it's, I mean, if that doesn't baffle science, I don't know what will. You know what I, I love? about your spirit is that uh, you, you take this music and you make it sound fresh. It makes it sound like something I would want to hear today. You bring such energy and such passion and to it. You know, it's, it's great. It, I love it. But it's so, it, it doesn't feel like, uh, I don't know, how, how am I just trying to describe this? It's infectious. The, the, uh, the excitement, the joy, and, and I can't wait to hear what you're going to play. You're not playing by yourself. You're also playing with some other friends. Tell me a little bit about your ensemble. I brought uh, two of my members today, two of the guys that have been working with me for a long time, and it's our, really our trio group. As we say in South Philly, the three of us. <laughs> it's our bad joke. We have to say it every, every, every gig. And that and also our motto slash warning slash caveat for the evening to all in the establishment. If you didn't like that one, you're going to hate the next one. <laughs> it's easy. But I bring, uh, brought my, my very good friends, Greg Wright and Gary Catley, who uh, we call him Doc. Uh, <laughs> we've been working together, I'd say, almost eight years now. Now, who and plays what? Gary plays tuba. Okay. Well, he plays sousaphone this evening. We cool. must not confuse that because all sousaphones are tubas, but not all tubas are sousaphones. Okay, so good distinction. the tricky part. And Greg will be manning his archtop guitar and his banjo, his plectrum banjo. Well, we've got such a great selection of music, but we'll get to that in just a second. First of all, I know that you love the Cunningham piano, and so we oh, prepared yes, this semi-concert grand seven-footer just for you. Mm -hmm. Tell me why you like the Cunningham so much. I, uh, being, being that I'm from Philadelphia area, and I have known about Cunningham since I was probably that big, and our first piano ever was a little Monarch spinet my mom and dad picked up for me from Cunningham, oh, wow. and two guys came to our house dressed up as Santa Claus and his elf, <laughs> near Christmas time and delivered it, dressed that way. Wow. And as a seven-year-old kid who still at the time believes in Santa Claus, <laughs> Santa gave me a piano. Santa gave me a piano, Mom. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you must have been good this year. I'm like, yeah, I doubt that. But Santa still gave me a piano. <laughs> so that was my first experience to cutting it. We even went to the um, old location at Germantown, and we had looked around. Yeah. I think I even picked that one out, and I didn't realize that was going to happen. <laughs> but then... Um, I had come into possession of a Cunningham player piano when I was a late teenager, and sadly, I did everything I could to get it fixed up, but it was in a barn for 30 years of its life, mm -hmm. and the mice had the better way of it, <laughs> and it was just not coming back. But that being said, it, uh, it really instilled this 
permanent interest and fondness and adoration or, uh, for Cunningham, the brand and the fact that it's back and in full swing. And, yeah, yeah. And uh, I got to yeah. meet Rich. Uh, I got to meet up with Rich uh, a couple years back and got to play one of these beautiful seven foot babies and, and actually I believe one of the nine footers as well. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. And I was, my mouth must have hit the floor five times over. It was just one of the greatest pianos, I think, if not the greatest, I think I've ever played on. It's great that it's a Philadelphia institution. There's a lot of history behind it, mm -hmm. a lot of stories. And, and it sounds like your life just dovetails so wonderfully with this piano, with your music. So tell us a little bit about what we're going to hear today. Well, this is what they call the, um, like I said before, the, the hot jazz style that came around to popularity in the 20s and the early 30s and was moved out of the way, as it were, by the swing era and the big band era. And we're going to give you a little flavoring of that. And we're going to do uh, two numbers with my trio. And um, I'm going to do a solo piano number. Great. And what are the, what are the songs we're going to hear? Oh, I would be remiss. <laughs> I would be very remiss if I did not tell you them. Uh, we're going to play a song that was made very popular by Jack T. Garden and his orchestra with Fats Waller. Oh, cool. well, they were actually very good friends. Mm -hmm. And they made a few records together. Mm. And they made a record called Chances Are. And it's become one of my favorite, favorite songs mm. because of that record. And since then, my band has adopted it. And we've always played it. And we're also going to play a song that I think my band cannot go a show without playing. Because it's just, we love doing it. It's called uh, I Found a New Baby. Mm. It was written by Jack Palmer in around 1924. Cool. And the third song I'm going to play is a tune by my all-time favorite composer, Mr. Walter Donaldson. It's called Me and My Shadow. Okay, great. Let's let's dive into this. Yes. Thank you. 
ba do da 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 ba do da 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 do da ba do da da ba ba do da 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 ba do da da ba do da ba do da 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 ba do da da ba do da 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 ba do of night are falling and I'm lonely Standing on a corner oh so blue Sweethearts having fun 
just pass me one by one. Guess I'll wind up like I always do with only me and my shadow strolling down the avenue. Me and my shadow I a soul to tell her troubles to when it's twelve o'clock we climb the stairs we never knock for nobody's there just me and my shadow all alone and all so blue The sun sets on the far horizon, and the parlor lamps all begin to glow. Jim and Jack and John put their slippers on. They're all set, but we're still on the go, so lonely, lonely. Just me and my shadow going down the avenue. Me and my shadow, not a soul to tell our troubles to. When it's twelve o'clock, we climb the stairs. We never knock. Nobody's there, just me and my shadow. All alone and always so blue. You know we do. We never, oh, you know, we go out at night. Me and my old pal. No, we never fight over a drink or over a gal. Just me and my shadow. I just I enjoy that so much the the enthusiasm the love the joy I mean you guys were just getting into these songs and you know it really makes the the adage what's old is new again really thank come you. alive thank you guys thank you so <laughs> much it was a pleasure. so where can folks hear more of you learn more about you and the musicians and the music you play well they can find us on the internet we're on Facebook Instagram also have our website, drugent.com, D-R-E-W-G-E-N-T, or D-R-U-G-E-N-T. We bought them both so people wouldn't be terribly confused. And we'll have links in our show notes, too. So, Okay, cool. And I understand you're hiding something over there. What I'm you got in your hand over there? What you... <laughs> I'm always hiding something. Ta-da! What is that? Sleeve. There you go. What is that? This is my latest here. Take a look. Okay, Take look a gander. This. That's oh. my latest solo album. It came out last year. 
It's called I'll Never Be the Same, mm. and it was actually named after a jazz standard that was originally known as Little Buttercup, mm. which mm. is also on there. Mm -hmm. You can find out more when you listen, Very but it cool. features a lot of my originals and I. Your originals, wow! Yeah. In this style of yeah. okay, music from the twenties and thirties and stuff like that. I started writing originals in the style really as a teenager, but didn't take it too seriously. I was like, "This is cool! Look what I can do!" I mean, yeah, I can't yeah. believe I can do this. Then Peter Evans, when me and him locked our minds together, he said, "We need to do more originals. Like you, you know this style. You can write in it." Let's write lyrics, let's produce these. And sure enough, it turned into this solo album project where, yeah, we featured a lot of these pieces that were written between yeah. the 1890s and the 1930s, but we threw in a good handful of tunes that we definitely sweated over, to wow. say the least. Very, very cool. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for sharing that. And we'll have links to the CD in the show notes as well. Drew, thank you. Thank you for just giving us a, a fresh taste of history, making it come alive. and helping us to see that music of any era is just great to experience for everyone. Thanks so much, Thank man. you again, Hugh. It was have, a pleasure to be here. We're going to have to have you back, that's for sure. Please. And thank you for spending time with us. If you enjoyed it as much as I know I did, <laughs> be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know when we have new episodes. Again, thanks for being with us. For the Cunningham Piano Show, I'm Hugh Sung, and we hope to see you next time. <laughs>